Hey everyone, it's Linnea. I have another video for the Kindred Stamps blog and YouTube channel today, and I'm going to be using the Zebra Stencil along with the Seafront Stamp Set and a bunch of different distress inks. And today I'm actually going to be making four cards and just sharing some of my tips for clean and simple mass-produced cards. So you can see here I have the Zebra Stencil. I've taped it down to a piece of cardstock, and I'm using some tape to mask off just two of the stripes. I wanted to do a rainbow effect here, and so I'm using my tape to help me um, control my color because I tend to, when I blend, I go everywhere. So when I do clean and simple cards, I try to make one aspect of my card stand out, whether it's the Copic coloring with lots of shading, or if I add little details with um, glossy accents and sparkle effects and things like that. But a lot of the times, I like to spend time on my backgrounds. I love to watercolor backgrounds. I love stencils. And I love finding ways to amp up my stencils. So today, I'm going to take a stencil and just do a rainbow of colors. So you saw me do a couple colors here. All I do is I just move the stencil around, lining up with the different colors for each piece of paper I do. And I'm doing a darker color in the lower left corner and going into a lighter color in the top right. So I did Picked Raspberry with Worn Lipstick for pink. The orange is Ripe Persimmon with Spiced Marmalade. Yellow is Mustard Seed with Squeezed Lemonade. And here I'm doing some Mermaid Lagoon with Tumbled Glass. And I will finish up with Dusty Concord and Shaded Lilac. And you're gonna see me peel this off in a second here. And you're gonna see a whole rainbow background that I did with just this one stencil and a bit of masking tape. And like I said, I did four backgrounds, and all four of them only took me about 15, 20 minutes to do all four. I quickly watercolored some images. I didn't keep the coloring in here because you've seen me watercolor images before. I just used my watercolor markers and um, blended them out with some water. And when I do clean and simple, quick mass-produced cards, I keep my images simple. I usually just do a single stamp sentiment. So here you can see me kind of playing around with my layout. And I did four different sentiments and four different layouts, but they're all super simple. I used my Misty to um, make sure my sentiments were straight. And if you wanted to keep these even more simple, you could do the same images and the same sentiment on each card. I decided to switch it up a little bit. And all I did to finish them off was add some little Nouveau drops. So please head over to my blog or the Kindred Stamps blog to see some still photos. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.